I'm gonna show you guys how I take off this gum paper. I just started using it recently. Um, I heard it was good to use, so I tried it out and I really like it, except it's just kind of a process. It comes in this roll like this. It's about two inches or something. You just need a bucket of water and you need probably a flat brush because you want to get the entire piece of it off and you want to get something that has kind of a crispy edge so that you can get close to the edge without getting on your painting. It does come off and it does come off clean. The trick is you need a lot of water and you need some patience. So what I suggest is getting your brush nice and wet, very very wet, and then you're gonna just Okay, you can see. Go over right to the edge. And you're gonna do this a lot. You're gonna do a lot of um uh, you're gonna do it a lot. <laughs> so probably sit down, relax, have some tea. Just go right to the edge. You want to make sure that it is all getting wet. It starts to come off really unevenly if you don't get it wet. So all the dry parts that stay on there is because, well, they weren't wet. So, let's see. So I'm going to do one side. And then while that's kind of seeping in, I'm going to just start tackling the other edges. And you want to go all the way to the edge, all the way to the edge. And then you'll see some parts start bubbling up. It's not quite ready yet. You just want it to really soak in there and like reactivate the gum. So I'll go over here a couple more times. And hope you have nails because... That will come in handy. I just cut my nails. So, <laughs> it's going to be a little tricky. Uh, okay, that might be okay. But I really want to get this corner so once I lift this up, this will come off easily too. So, let's see. might be able to start peeling it off. So this painting is for a buddy, Mike. Thank you for wanting art. It's a pretty sick dragon. I hope you'll like it. He hasn't seen it yet. It's going to be cool. It's about his new surfboard and his new fin that he named Mizuki, which is this Japanese dragon folklore thing. You know, like in Spirited Away, they have that dragon, the ocean dragon god spirit thing. That is the inspiration. Okay, so, um, it's pretty dang well. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one because it's on top. Oh, snap, it's coming off so easily. Heck yeah. Okay, so see, it's not all pulling off all the way, so before I pull it more, I'm just going to get it wet and let it work its magic. And you might want to get it wet on the inside of the tape. If not, you can kind of start pulling around this edge. It should come off in one strip. It's going to be a little splotchy in some places and you kind of just maneuver it around. And then the, another trick is to pull down, not up. Pull slowly too. Oh man, this is my best one yet. Oh yeah. 
Haha, <laughs> 10 points for Gryffindor. Okay. And then for these little pieces, you just get a little paper, I mean, water. Abracadabra. Alakazoom. Alright. And this is when your nails will come in handy. You don't want to scratch too close to the painting because I can already see some of the watercolor from my painting is getting too wet and kind of getting on the white part. I'll just leave that piece for the end. So now you see how one side is pretty clean. I'm just going to do the rest to the rest of the board, which is kind of a lot. So I'll show you what it looks like after enter time lapse speed warp 2000. <laughs> It's dry, so see how white it is and how dark it is. It is peel ready when it's this dark. So, um, I think it, and then it gets kind of slimy. The underneath part feels like a fish, fish scales, all slimy. Peeling is like peeling off a big piece of dry skin. Oh my god. Like cold finger. Oh my god. It's so good. Oh my god. The beauty of patience. So there's still some, so I'm gonna very carefully go along those edges trying not to make the watercolor painting wet again and um, then I'll scrape those off. If you guys have any kind of tool that is somewhat of a hard edge that is not sharp and will cut up your beautiful painting, I would suggest using that. This may be the back of your fingernail works too. Just make sure your hands are not dirty because they will get your painting dirty. So, there we go. So the edges are still a little wet. Once they dry, it's gonna warp the paper. So I'm gonna do another video on how I stretch my